Hello YouTube, Brian Redgrave here, and I'm here to review the movie El Ojo, or how it's also known as The Platform, but I'm going to go with the original title for its Spanish movie, El Ojo. It's a movie about a prison, it's two people per room, there are many floors, one above them, another one above them, like some down there below them, and they all share food. Food comes down, so it'll go from like, they'll put the food in floor zero, and it'll go to the first floor, and it'll keep going down floor two. And essentially, they're all eating, you know, if you're not in the top couple floors, you're eating scraps of other people. And some people just go crazy eating. And the ones below, like all the way down, they're like a floor around 100 or something, might not even get to eat since there might not be any food left. And... Nobody can grab food. You can only eat it. And then when the table leaves, that's it. You can't save food in your room. But the temperature will go up or down. So you'll either like freeze to death or burn yourself to death. And it's a very, very disturbing movie at times. But it just keeps you in your grip as to what's going on, what's going to happen. You know, the characters sometimes don't want to eat because they find it disgusting and gross. You're eating leftovers from other people. And the movie can also be pretty graphic at times with some of the stuff going on. But overall, the movie is very enjoyable. I mean, if you're some of the type of person that when watching a movie can't stand when the movie's in the same place or the same room, then this movie not might not be for you because they're mostly in the same room. And even when they go to different rooms, the rooms all look the same. The only difference is the number written in the wall. This might be floor 2. This is floor 80. This is floor 50. That's really the only difference. Because once a month, they change everybody's rooms at random. Which is crazy because you could go from like, be on floor 80 today. And then next month, you're on floor 6. But then maybe then the following month, you're floor 50. So you're not in a specific room guaranteed. It's just essentially a random, it seems to be. And the movie has a good message. If you pay attention, you know, it's all about sharing. Because there's enough food that everybody could eat. But since everybody thinks about themselves, nobody else gets, gets any food from the bottom. And it's a good message. It's something you figure out yourself when you see the amount of food on this table. But the moment food comes down, people go buck wild eating. They literally stand on top of the table while they eat. So they spit at the food. See, if they all shared, everybody could eat, everybody could survive. That's the message of the movie, and I like that, because it, it goes to realistic measures, you know? <laughs> Sharing is key to survival. Now, I won't spoil anything, but the one thing I hated, I hated the ending. I hated the ending of the movie, and I hate when movies ends like this, but that's all I will say. I hated the ending. I won't say what it is. Maybe you don't mind. Maybe you like it. It's all cool, but in my personal opinion, it left me wanting more. So overall, good movie. It's currently out on Netflix, so feel free to watch it on Netflix and during these times of quarantine for a lot of people. So I give it a watch. It's good. It's a little strong in the violence at times, but it's enjoyable. And it's pretty different to any movie I've seen before. So yeah, give it a watch. It was good. Overall, I really enjoyed it. The final verdict is an 8 out of 10. The only reason I take two points away is one, the ending, and two, sometimes the pacing. You know, sometimes they're in the room for a long time without any much of importance really going on. But besides those two things, the movie is great and enjoyable. Pretty good movie. Watch it. You'll like it and enjoy it. If you did, if you agree, cool. If not, that's alright. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care. Have a good day. Peace.